Liam, it's finished Gloucester 3, Southport 2, and I don't know how we managed to lose that really after the first 40 minutes. Uh, we, we got involved in chaos, that's what we did. I said, said at half time, he'll lose this purely because all he wants to do is argue with the referee over every single decision. Whether he was good, bad, and different, he was the same for both teams. But we haven't even our senior players arguing constantly, arguing with the referee over nothing. The game is the one of the worst games I've ever, ever been involved in. The pitch doesn't help. The amount of people who've rolled their ankles, I said, the referee didn't help, the officials didn't help, and we didn't help ourselves. I said, so ultimately it's only us that we can, we can control ourselves to concede three goals after being 2-0 up. Don't get me wrong, I don't think we played well in the first half. I think we scored. We were very comfortable for the first 30, well, 35 minutes, weren't we? They didn't have a shot on we, target. We scored, and then the carnage started. Yeah. One thing I say, the challenge on Marcus Carver leading up to their first goal is a joke. He's, you're on a plastic pitch and someone's come through the back of him. So every single foul he's given it all. There must have been more fouls in this game than I've ever seen in any game. We, we, we said that, it's the world record for that, fouls. That's one of the worst tackles you'll see coming through the back of a forward on a plastic pitch. So he lets that one go. They score from that and then ultimately in the second half they played the pitch a lot better than we did. It's, it, it's actually a myth, this scenario that you pass the ball on the plastic pitch, you put the ball into areas and it makes it really difficult for defenders. Second half, we never put it in an area at all, apart from once Niles got away, put it on the plate for Jordan, 3-1 game over, Jordan misses, however he is struggling a little bit with the ankle in the first half. I said, well, you know, I can't legislate for the two goals we give away. The first goal you did, the third goal, we just see it out for a goal kick and then Cam's decided to kick, it's gone off the throw and then he put more pressure on, but we still got to defend. So it just just a terrible, terrible day. Terrible day. It, well, it, it just didn't see it coming. I, I certainly didn't. You know, you said we didn't play that well, but they did nothing in that first. I, I did see it coming. I did see it coming because the minute you start arguing and everyone starts right. arguing with the referee, you can't stop it. So like your Adam Anthons, your Jack Bamers, your Marcus Carvers on the pitch, they've got to do it. They've got to stop. But it's gone from Cam all the way through to Nile. Every one of them is arguing with Red with the official, with the referee. And you say, try and stress. If he's bad, he's bad. But he, you know, he's not a cheat, so he's bad for both teams. So just why get involved? Why get involved? And then the minute you get involved, you know, as I said, it, caught, it just creates chaos. And then, you know, we showed so much naivety, it was unreal. And, you know, you get what you, do, you deserve ultimately. As I said, on the balance of play, did they deserve to win? Probably not. Do we deserve to lose? Probably not. But, but when, once you get yourselves in this situation, you, that's why 2 0 is a scary, scary scoreline at the time. The minute you can see the third goal is so important. We've had a chance to, to actually make it through in the first half and we didn't take it. And then I think we're always riding that, that like a little bit of fear. Fear is probably the word. Bit of a surprise this week to see Connor go out on loan. I know there's been a bit of a reaction from the fans, a bit surprised. Can you, can you give us a background to why that's been allowed to happen? Well, Tyler and I have been doing so well. He hasn't really played from the start of the season, many starts, and he has many starts and when he has started take away the Boston he hasn't got to the levels but we know we can I just think his confidence is low his fitness is low and he just needs to go on and get, get games um, if he plays five or six games in the month for Warrington it gives us another option certainly another option and then obviously we, we, we're we obviously strengthening the squad so we'll be coming someone coming in Monday have you got another, somebody to come in on there's someone coming in on Monday so it's another attacking option we need another attacking yeah so is con is it really to give connor a bit of a kick up the backside to try and get him firing again well, the it, if it's a kick up the backside it's thing is it you know connor connor's got fabulous ability but he needs to turn it into what he does on the pitch i said you know it, it's sometimes whether it's work rate whether it's constant whatever it is I said you know last year we won here one nil he scored an absolute world you know what I mean yeah. but you know I'm not no one's dissing Connor no one's shut the door on Connor no one's saying anything about Connor I said Connor needs to get back to proving week in week out that he can do it but he can do it for 90 minutes not cameos because on a good day he's as good as we've got isn't he yeah yeah absolutely but you know when he first come when he first comes to the club uh, he had Devine Green ahead of him and he, he ended up obviously he starts on the bench and he had to grind work his way to get in the team and that's what he had to do uh, and he did but then your third season in he's now back on the bench and Tyler's ahead of him so it, it, we can't wait around we just want to keep on kicking on we want to keep on 
and you know they've got to push each other. Yeah, we've got a run of four away games on the run now. It's up, up to Farsley on Saturday. Time to bit of training, get the lads back into it. Yeah, just see how the, the knocks are for them on Tuesday, and then you know just keep training, doing things, trying to teach them to how to play in the, at the right times, and you know make the performance levels. I didn't see it coming. Uh, we started so well. You know, I said second goal is a great work set piece, uh, and you know, as I said, you know, we, we've got, just got involved in absolute chaos, and you know we've only got ourselves to blame. Thanks, Liam. No problems.